In the previous video, we saw that if we have a right angle triangle like this, with sides A, B and C, then the Pythagoras theorem says that C squared will equal A squared plus B squared. Let's move on to a new page to understand why. The process to understand the Pythagoras theorem is pretty similar to the one for A plus B, the whole squared. We draw a line of any length and mark a point on it. This point can be marked anywhere on the line. We name the parts A and B. This length will be A plus B. Next, we complete the square with A plus B as its side. This is a square in which each length is A plus B. Now we try to make the same division on each segment. We mark points here, here and here. The points should be marked such that this length is B, this length is A, this is B, this is A and these two lengths are also equal to B and A. We can see that we have four points, one on each side. This time we join the adjacent points. If you draw this on a piece of paper, you will notice that the figure formed inside is a square. Let the length of the sides be C centimeters. Look at the different parts that are formed. The outer square is made up of five parts. This square of side C centimeters in between and four right angle triangles with height A and base B. Let's zoom out a bit and try to find the area of the outer square. The area of the square can be calculated in two ways. The first way is side multiplied by side. It can be written as A plus B multiplied by A plus B which equals A plus B the whole squared. And the area of the outer square also equals the sum of the areas of these five parts. The area of this square is C squared. Observe that each of these triangles will have the same area as their height and base is the same. Area of each triangle is half AB. To include the area of four triangles, we just multiply this with four. Their total area would be four multiplied by half AB. Two times two is four and we get the area of the outer square as C squared plus two AB. Both these are the area of the outer square. Equating these two, we can write C squared plus 2AB equals A plus B the whole squared. And using the identity for A plus B the whole squared, we write this as C squared plus 2AB equals A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. And cancelling out 2AB from both the sides, we get C squared equal to A squared plus B squared. This is the Pythagoras theorem.